Welcome to CSCI 109, C Programming for Engineers and Scientists. My name is Brock Lemires and I will be your instructor during this 12-week summer session during the summer of 2023 at Montana State University. The purpose of this video is to give you an orientation to the course, go through the logistics of what you'll be doing, and get you in a position so that when this is over, you can start engaging on the learning activities for the course. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the course begins with Brightspace. All right, Brightspace is the name of the learning management system that we use at MSU, and the address is simply ecat.montana.edu. And you come out here and you log in with your NetID and password. Uh, if you're a non MSU student, you will get one of these when you get enrolled in the class. And so I go ahead and I enroll in, or I log into this thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I come to this landing page, I'm going to come over to here to the right, and I see my courses. Go ahead and go to uh, summer 2023, and then you're going to see any classes you're in rolled with. So down here, C for engineers and scientists is what we are. Uh, it's CSCI 109-801 is the section, and then it's 2023-50. That means the summer offering. So when you click on that, you, it brings you into the shell, okay? And so when you come into this thing, there's a, a welcome message. I just put that there because... Uh, it just to, so you know you're in the right spot <laughs> and there'll be there'll be weekly uh, announcements in here just reminders okay uh, but then when you look at this thing there's all sorts of tools across the top that you can do or that brightspace offers but for this class you just click on content okay so content what i've done is i've created a page for every module we're going to do okay and on every module there's going to be links for everything so if you look at this class it's basically 11 modules and i put the week that we're going to cover uh, each module on some weeks will take two weeks uh, some will will take less than a week so module zero is a course introduction uh, it's gonna, not going to take that long so let's take a look at what a module page might look like I click on this this is course information and you come in here and it starts talking about the course okay so beginning C from beginner to pro you are in a course right now that is going to teach you how to program in the language C. This is an introductory level course, all right? In fact, the only prereq for this course is that you are not a computer science student and you're not a computer engineering student. If you have been programming for a couple of years, this is not the course for you. You're gonna finish this course in like 10 minutes, okay? This is for somebody who has never opened up a Linux terminal. Like if you even know what a Linux shell is or SSH, you're probably in the wrong spot. <laughs> this is for really beginners. Now it does ramp up pretty quick, but we start really slow because you need to be, you need to like not get left behind on just the interaction of a computer at the command line. And all this will make sense as you go. All right. We're going to learn a language called uh, it's called C, like the capital letter C. And it is honestly one of the most powerful languages out. It's still one of the most popular languages. Uh, Linux was written in C, uh, if you even know what Linux is. It's it stood the test of times. It came out in 1972, and it's it's just a good language. It is This course is really for somebody who wants to be a low-level programmer. If you're a computer scientist, you're going to get, you're going to, you don't want to be in this class, right? But this is for like an electrical engineer or a mechanical engineer who wants to know like, well, how come I keep running out of memory, right? It's, or why doesn't my program run faster? So we're going to be talking about low-level stuff in this. And since we spend so much time at the low level, you can't get as far. So we're not going to get into like ab, really abstract concepts. We're going to be talking just meat and potatoes of a program language like is you know math and if else and and loops and stuff like that okay so that's what it is uh you're just going to be doing introductory stuff so we just start with like hello world and then we do decisions and stuff like that so that that's what this course is really about uh when you look at this page it gives you some links to the instructors so myself Brock Lemires, and then prashanta saha is our ta uh we're gonna you know Prashant is probably going to, you're going to get to know him really well because he's going to respond right away on Discord, uh, which you'll learn about. Uh, this class is fully online, so you're going to be watching a lot of videos. You're going to be doing homeworks, uploading your code, uploading screenshots, getting grading. But remember that there are live instructors. So you reach out for help. Don't feel like you're in, you're just watching YouTube and no, and you're posting comments to YouTube and no one answers. We're here. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're working. So we're ready to help. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. So you're going to come through here and you start seeing that there's like activities and you start seeing links. What you'll notice is that everything is linked in these content pages. So while you can get to them probably using these other tools up here, like if there's a quiz, you can go to quizzes. If there's an assignment folder that you upload to, you can get to it there. I link everything in this I link everything in the course, okay? So the syllabus is probably a biggie one to look at. Actually, really what's important in the syllabus is the schedule. So you come in here and it's gonna describe like what the course is, right? It's like, yeah, you, we just did. Learning outcomes, uh, you you know, learn how to program and see. Uh, it's just contact information, required material. There is no required material other than a computer that can run a SSH terminal or a shell. And you'll see that in a second, which they all do, okay? Windows does it. Mac does it, Linux does it, you're good. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the course server once in a second. I'm just gonna go through this. We're gonna have a Discord, which is a messaging app, and actually one of your first homework assignments is to join the Discord. The Discord is great, it's basically just, it's an app on your phone or on your, it's a web page, and you can just post quick messages to it. And it's really cool because it's faster than email is what we found, because it doesn't, it's like you know who the message is coming from, and we're able to help you really quickly on Discord. It's, it's really cool, okay? Office hours, we're, we're here, you know, schedule an appointment, right? We don't know if we'll have regular office hours. We'll see how it goes. This is supposed to be kind of asynchronous. I mean, you're all over the world right now, so we're gonna try to be flexible. We don't have a, wanna have a rigid, like, meeting time. There's really only two components of this class. There's homework each week, each, there's homework and there's labs, okay? All the, the homeworks are is meant to be very, very simple. They're meant to be like an extension of what the lectures are. Uh, and then the labs are where you're given something where it's a little bit more thoughtful and you have to think through stuff and, and it takes more time. And so the labs are worth 60%. Grading, just straight grading, 90 above is an A, 80 above is a B. Uh, textbook, there is a, there's a textbook that we I provide for free. It's given through our library. It's called Beginning C from Beginner to Pro. It's there's stuff in it that's good. Uh, there's stuff in it that we're not going to cover. So I really try to like give you the page numbers to look at. But it's just an additional reference. You probably don't need anything beyond the the, the videos in here. Uh, but it's there for you if you want. Uh, academic policies. Don't cheat. What cheating means is that you turn in somebody else's work. Okay. You are welcome to collaborate. You're welcome to help other people. That's how the real world works. But the real world does not work when you try to take credit for somebody else's work. Everybody gets fired. Everybody goes to jail. Okay, Maybe not jail, but you're fired. So that's the difference, right? <clears throat> course components. Here's, what, here's kind of what this course consists of. Videos, okay? I spent a lot of time making these videos <laughs> on YouTube, right? Uh, <clears throat> there's, there's some ads in them. Don't worry about it. Just let them play. It's not going to hurt anybody. Uh, you're going to have slides that I actually go th on the videos. I walk through the slides. And so the slides are basically a reference for the videos. Then there's reading, which is just supplemental to the instruction videos. And then there's homework. And so the homework is going to be programming assignments. There's a few multiple choice quizzes right at the beginning. Uh, and then there's labs. Really what this class, the way that this class is made is that you're going to code along with me. Okay. And so if you, if this was a live class, I would be up in front of you and I'd be had a slides up on the, sh on the screen. And then you'd see this little keyboard that I'm going to show you. And when you see the keyboard, open your laptop and start coding with me. So when I teach this class, I have every student in the class is, has their laptop open and they're all coding with me. And then they're like, okay, okay, okay. And then we stop and it's like, okay, here's your homework. And the homework is just usually just a small extension of what we've covered in class. So you really want it to get your computer out, get the videos out and just code with me on these instructions. That's, you learn to code by coding. You're not gonna learn by watching someone write code on a board or looking at slides that they burn through. You gotta just code. <laughs> okay, here's the, here's the most important part of this. All right, this is the schedule. This thing is a beautiful. <laughs> so I break down the entire course by week and by module. And importantly, you have your points for homework and points for lab, and then your due dates. The points are really important because they tell you what you're working on for that week. So as an example, in general, all the assignments are meant to be worked on during the week and then they're due the following Wednesday at noon. So for example, once you get to week two, you're gonna have, oh, okay, here's a homework assignment, homework assignment, then a lab. They're all of them, all of them are due at Wednesday at noon. 
Okay, homeworks are going to be smaller. They're worth less points. Uh, the, the rationale is that you should be able to blast through these things during the week. But if you did want need the weekend, you you got it right. And then if you needed help on Monday, you got it. And if you got need help on Tuesday, you got it too. So I just picked Wednesday at noon. Never want a deadline on the weekend. Never want a deadline outside of business hours because that's when everything goes wacky. Okay. All right. So then the only exception is the first week. I need you to prove to me that you're engaged in the course right away because once you fall behind in this course, you're just toast. And so I have assignments that are due the first Wednesday of class. So it's going to start on a Monday the 15th and you have a, assignments that are due Wednesday at noon. Luckily, they're really short assignments. They're just like course overview. How many points is this worth? When are the deadlines? Joining the Discord. It walks you, an assignment that walks you through how to join it and post a message that says, hello, I'm here. Computer hardware and software. It's just like terminology. You watch a video on it. You will look at some slides, answer some terminology. But that shows me that you're, you're here. It shows me that you're engaged in the course and I'm not going to be looking for you in two weeks. Okay. Then you get to module two and this is where the you get in the normal flow of things these assignments are due the following wednesday at noon and then you get to the next week it's like following wednesday at noon following wednesday at noon following wednesday at noon and on and on and on one thing to note is that the points of assignments aren't all equal so notice that in the beginning the points are worth very small there's a thousand points available in the class and then you're like, oh, five points. Five. I mean, that's a small amount, right? That's, <laughs> that's very small. But then you keep going and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you'll notice that the you'll notice the videos are just a tiny bit longer. And the assignments, they're just more involved. And so it's reflected throughout the throughout the flow of the course. Okay. So when you get to the end, there's no exam in this class. It's just, I want you to code, just code, code, code. That's it. There's not gonna be an exam in this class. Uh, it just doesn't fit with the, the flow of the summer schedule. Okay. So this is the, the breakdown. This is what you want to look at. Like every, I'd look at it every day. If I, if, if I was you at least every week. Okay. All right. So now you come along here and let's go look at like a normal module. And I want to show you like what it looks like to engage okay and, and when i say engage i want to like get to a programming module so let me go to like uh, basic c okay so this is basic c contracts here's the module you come down here and you're like oh learning activities so you got a section it's on c program anatomy and standard output okay watch a video 20 minutes watch a video 15 minutes okay they're they're not two minute videos but they're not a, a full hour then here's the slides for you Here's the beginning C textbook if you want to look at it. And then here's your assignment folder to upload. And the what you upload for the each assignment is given in the assignment in the homework description. Homeworks are described in the slides. So if I click on this, it'll download the slide set and then I'll go look at it and, and be like, okay, so I see some slides. I went through one to 28 there and then on 29, the homework was there. So if I come in here, I'm like, oh, okay, so here's what a typical slide looks like. I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. So then I flick through it, and it's like, oh, history, oh, that's interesting, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, whatever, 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 yeah, interesting. Yeah, okay, go on, go on, go on. That one didn't have any coding in it, and all of a sudden, there was a code along. So this keyboard up here, it shows you it's time to code along, okay? So I'm going to tell you that you're going to create a folder on here you're going to you're going to create a program file that's called a certain thing you're going to compile it you're going to run it and then you're going to take a screenshot of your results okay and that's going to happen throughout okay so the further we get into the class the more involved the coding is okay so let me let me do like let's go i'll just show you one more time so here's one where it's like oh here's blah 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 here's the slides here comes this little fella and it's coming it's coming it's coming and then I'll show you a video really quick. <laughs> video of a video. All right, so I'm, I'm describing something that's like, hey, code along. Okay, create a new thing. And then we're going to code something else. And what I do, I give you the code I'm going to code. And then I type it in. And I type it in to slow down the flow because you are going to type with me. So, But everything I'm typing is like almost exactly this. Sometimes I, I mix it up a little bit. But it's you code along and then we look at the outputs and then you, you look at the outputs life is good and here's what a homework looks like you're basically going to have just a, a list of tasks that you're going to do and it's going to be like okay create a folder create a, a source code file and do this and take a screenshot of your result and i almost always give you what the result should look like okay all right let me let me show you what a typical video looks like okay so let me come in here I want to get a real good. They're all really good. 
<laughs> They're all YouTube videos. Uh, there's an ad in here. Don't worry about that. You know, what? watch an ad. What's it going to hurt? Uh, so I come in here, and this is what a typical video is going to look like. It's going to be a slide over here, and I'm going to be coding right here, and I'm going to be compiling and, and running it down here. So you look at this thing, and I'm just I'm just flowing through code. I'm explaining what I'm doing, and I expect you to be typing along with me. I am telling you, if you type everything along with me during these videos, you're 100% in the class. Not only just 100% grade, you're going to understand everything so good because every single lecture, I start a new source code and we walk from start to finish. And by the end, it's insane how fast you can knock these programs out. It's just like, oh yeah, no problem. Boom. And it's done. Okay. But that's a, that's a common way, or this is what a common video looks like. Now here is kind of, that's the flow of the class. Here's kind of the a biggie one. I'm going to go back to content and I'm going to go into, uh, I want to show you this picture that explains pretty much how the class runs. Okay. You are going to have a computer that's yours. There is a server at MSU called the CSCI 109 server. This is where you will develop your programs. This is where you will debug the programs, compile them and run them and sit and store them. Okay. All your programs have to be run on the server. You will access this server over the internet using what is called an SSH, which is a secure command line interface. It is a black terminal, okay? You are gonna be typing at a black terminal, but you do that from your computer so that all the processing is done over here, okay? That's why you don't need a blazing fast computer. You don't need software on your computer. You just need to open one of these SSH terminals, okay? You have to do this. You are not allowed to use your own development environment. Okay. Don't go install, you know, Visual C++ on your machine and say, well, I'm going to do it myself. If you want to do it yourself, don't take this class. You develop on this server. There's a reason. It's because I know what the compiler on this server can do. Not all compilers are the same. Some compilers compile slightly different. They don't, they use different data types. They use different addressing schemes and it leads to weirdness. The second reason is that if you work on this server, I can see all your files and the TA can see your files. You would not, you'd be surprised at how often somebody asks me a question and I'm, I'm like, I don't ask them, hey, email me your, your code. I just log into the server and go look at their code and I run their program and I, and I can find their problems right away. Okay, so it helps me help you actually debug your program. So this is what it's gonna look like. Okay. Now let me show you. Uh, let me show you this slide set so you can really see. <laughs> this is like dark room uh, headphones on. So this is what it's going to look like. Let me let me get down here. Let me get down to a good one here. You're literally going to be at this like at a dark terminal typing in stuff. Okay. So I mean, it is it is like you are typing in commands and echoing it. You're going to edit using an editor called Vim. And it's just, it's just the way it's done, right? I know you you think, well, I'm going to program a computer. You're going to have this nice GUI. It's like, man, most people that code are coding in a dark terminal in a dark room. <laughs> but anyway, so that's why you don't need any software in here, okay? All right, so that is essentially the entire course, okay? So when you look at this, if you want to, let's look at one more thing here. You come in here and you're like... There's a video, there's a video, see basic slides, they download, the book downloads, and this is an assignment folder, you click on it, and you upload your code to it, and then we grade it, and life is good, and it's just, it's a lot of different programming assignments, and so that is the actual course, so you are ready to engage on this course, so go up to, open the syllabus, look at that first uh set of deadlines that you have and then start working through the module zero content page and you read and watch the videos and life is good all right i look forward to working with you and see ya